Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and Assalamualaikum My name is Ahmad Karim Najmi and today I'm going to do this video about the personal protective equipment Before I'm going to uh, make an introduction I'm going uh, uh, I need to apologize because uh, I have this technical problem on my uh, camera so I could not uh, I could not record myself doing this video so this is the last option that I could uh, use to make the PPE video by slide uh, method so over here is my uh, introduction slide the first slide so the uh, the first uh, the picture here is my my picture myself so the code program is ECM367 title personal protective equipment my name Ahmad Karan Najmi bin Ahmad Takwa ID number 2019 806022 okay uh, i am in group EC1104B and my lecturer is Madam Nurul Aisha binti Abdul Rahman okay let us start okay so what is PPE okay PPE uh, is stands for the personal protective equipment so it is actually uh, required from the top uh, from, from our head to our foot Okay. Uh, usually people will ask oh the PPE is uh, used like the those who wear masks and uh, apa, the surgical uh, equipment like the doctors no those are the PPE for this uh, post COVID-19 uh, but uh, today we are going to talk about the PPE, PPV that related to construction for our uh, program it stands for uh, project and construction management so we're going to talk about the construction related issues only okay for the first one is helmet so this is one of the notice that we that we usually see okay these are the different helmets color that we that we could use okay the white ones are for the engineers supervisors manager and foreman and then the yellow one is for the labor and of moving apparatus we usually, we usually see these two colors only but however they are more from only those two such as the blue one for electrician carpenters and technical operators uh, the red one are for the firefighters the brown one are for the welders green are for the safety officers and the gray one is for the site visitors so uh, those are the types of the helmets so type, uh, the colors of the helmets so why do we need to wear the helmets uh, when it's come to the construction site okay so when it comes to construction site um more specifically when we work uh upper uh, at the um, hazard site lah uh, because construction construction site is one of the dangerous uh, area uh, that we that we well known so for example the situation i could give is when we work uh on the high-rise building or uh, at the offshore uh, when we uh, when the labor is on the duty on their task they will uh, carry some tools to to make the to, to do the uh, duty and then sometimes the probability for the tools or, or some materials like stones rocks or or, or nails uh, to drop from the high uh, position onto the ground is uh, uh, is reliable so if there's someone wa uh, walking on the ground at the moment it will be harmful for those who do not wear the helmet so wearing helmet all the time in the construction site uh, is important not only when it's come to construction constructing when it comes to maintaining is also required they required uh, required uh, okay. and next one is the eye protection this is uh, one of the sign that say that eye protection must be worn in this area uh, we rarely see this uh, notice because uh, apa, uh, exposed construction area that we usually see doesn't doesn't uh, show this particular task uh, well, why uh, why did I say that earlier is because when, when it's come to uh, tasks that need eye protection like welding, carpentering doesn't uh, require to do it 
uh, at the exposed area. Uh, they will do it uh, at the inside. Okay. Uh, there are three actually. There are actually three types of uh, eye protection here. But the left one, the the most left one here, is not a eye protection. It's just a regular glasses. So as you can see, uh, there are four types of them. And then the tester that have done an experiment, they spray a red a red paint onto this decoy face, and we can see the effect. Okay. This is the effect when we use the regular spectacles, the regular glasses lah. As you can see, it fail to protect the eyes. The next one here is the uh, is the safety spectacle, uh, spe safety spectacular. It has been engineered, has been designed to protect the eye against uh, solid harm, harmless, uh, solid hazard. Uh, like uh, wood splinter, uh, nails, uh, because these these uh spectacles, uh, these this uh safety spectacle is uh made from the hard plastic, so uh it could uh protect from hard hard uh material far effective from these glasses because glasses when it's break it will harm your eyes too, uh, but when it's come to this uh. Well, uh, for uh, when it's come to this uh, safety spectacular, it would it would not break. Uh, okay, however, it will still uh fail if uh we are exposed to the uh liquid type of hazard. Uh, like uh, well, uh, let's say if there's a chemical explosion or acid bath, so the the eyes uh, uh will still get harmful. Because it is only designed for solid, solid, uh, solid uh, harmless uh, protection. Okay, for the next one is the um, safety Google, safety Google. Uh, Google is the Google.com there. <laughs> so this is saf safety Google. So safety Google uh, uh, is more advanced uh, type lah. It is air type. It is also waterproof. So, as you can see here, after it's been uh, spray, the, the spray is actually liquid lah. So, when you spray, and then the, the, the area, the eye area is completely protected. However, the forehead and the nose and mouth area is not protected. So, uh, it's not suitable for uh, more extreme tasks like uh, welding. So, when it's come to welding, where we, we use face shield so face shield uh, as you can see over here if there's a spark or blast can uh, fire blast yeah, as you can see the face is a complete complete protected okay tapi uh, but uh, when it's come to uh, real welding we are mostly we're using the the metal metal face shield because metal face shield will uh, it, it, it will not catch fire it, it's more tough can uh, and, and when and it can uh, stand for higher temperature uh, so it's more convenient to use metal uh, face shield uh, when we use plastic like this uh, they, they have the probability to melt down okay uh, that's for the face shield uh, that, that's for the eye protection now for the next one is the ear protection so ear protection here uh, although there's a 12 pictures here but there's only three types of uh, ear protection so, so the first one is the earplug. How to use the earplug? Simply plug it into your ears. Uh, how how does it uh, function? By blocking uh, the upper, uh, external sound wave, uh, preventing your ears from getting harm or getting destroyed. Okay. Okay. Now for the next one is the foamable. Foamable is the green one. Uh, the the earplug is the yellow one with blue string there so the formable here is actually a, a squishy a more squishy material so how, how to use it is we need to squeeze the formable to uh, to compress the size first and then slightly put it into the ear ear hole and then release when it release the the formable will expand and block the entire hole uh, so it is more effective lah actually than the ear than ear, the earbuds than the earplugs uh, okay 
next one is the earmuff some of some people say that oh this is earphone no no it's not earphone earphones so, uh, produce sound produce pro, produce music produce uh, voices but this is earmuff it completely uh, completely block the, the the external sound wave okay uh, the the earmuff is more suitable for people that uh, have a problem in the ear hole such as uh, if there's a injured in the ear hole or bleeding so it is not convenient to use this foamable or ear plug so uh, ear mouth is a better option lah. okay so that's for the ear protection these these uh, ear protections equipment have the same function yeah, that is to block external sound from uh, preventing from damaging the ears all right when we uh, when we usually see people using this kind of protection okay when it's come to uh, construction they usually uh, use it when it's come to uh, heavy machineries uh, working phase such as piling uh, when they use when they are using the piling uh, machine like when they are piling for highways or buildings so uh, the labels should be covered their ears with these protections because uh, those machineries would uh, produce an extreme sound wave that could uh, that could mm, uh, harmful for the ears okay so that is when lah. Uh, when 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 we should use okay. for the next one is the respirators uh, protection this is one of the notice uh, we rarely see in this uh, kind of uh, upper kind of notice because this notice is not uh, available on or uh, on all situation usually when it's come to chemical uh, such as uh, at the offshores or at the maybe at the pump station uh upper petrol station uh, not in uh, at the convenient part of the uh petrol station lah where, where when it's come to the uh, maintenance part uh when the when the engineers are involved uh, okay so these are the uh example of the mass okay as you can see here i have uh, included the surgical mask uh, the regular mask that we that we are uh, using these days okay this is because uh apa for surgical mask uh, so now is for the post covid 19 uh, and the, the government also said that it could be an endemic so means that covid 19 will stay lah uh, so uh, preventing uh Apa, workers from getting effect from the COVID-19 is also a personal protective equipment that is why uh, surgical mask is also uh, included in this PPE project okay uh, the, the function of the mask is all the same is to protect the uh, respiration the, the respiration of the workers all workers when, when I say workers it means include the engineers the supervisors the management the manager uh, so because they are working uh, they're workers uh. when i say labor and then they they uh, this upper they just uh, specifically mean by that is labor okay as you can see some of the masks uh, have this facial uh, features some of the masks only have this nose and mouth features okay so what's the difference okay so for this facial um facial uh, mass well mostly used when it's come to the flammable chemical uh, when it's uh, when there's a gas leaking or something like that so they should uh, protect their their, their face too uh, besides just protecting the respiration they should protect their face too so that's why there's a facial over here with more tough uh, material all right so for the next one okay uh, this one is the body protection but uh, for Malaysia I, uh, I'm not so sure but they are less uh, they're, they're quite rare use uh, upper, uh, displaying uh, body protective notice uh, but 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 uh, usually uh, the contractors will uh, will ask the labor to to wear it lah uh, 
so I think because of it's uh, has been the norms, the so the, the the notice is not required. Okay, so going to uh, talk about this reflective safety vest. Okay, usually when we see it, the, this is where um, when the construction site is on the road or on the highway or besides the highway. Uh, why we, why they are, are required to wear this is to avoid accidents. Uh, so uh, people would be more careful when they notice there's a label working in front. Okay. So the coverall is basically to cover up lah, uh, the bodies from any harm, harmful harmful uh, harmful things that uh, at the construction site. Okay, the, the, for the welders, they, they will be using this welding coat or welding apron. Now, the welding coat and welding apron have uh, the same purpose and same uh, features. They just in either in the coat form or the apron form. Both of them are being designed to not catch fire, to be fire, uh, to to be uh, apa, suitable for them to uh, work with welding lah. Okay, and then. Uh, I don't see about the light coat here, so don't need. Okay, and then cooling vest. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, for formulation, there are some some uh PPE here is not a uh, requirement. So uh, not required. Such as this cold weather cover. We don't have cold weather here in Malaysia, but I don't know. Yeah, if the future uh, uh how how it turns out can. <laughs> but for now, cold weather cover is not a requirement lah. Uh, and then some chemical splash apron. Chemical splash apron. Uh, I do realize this. Uh, one time. Okay. So uh, after the when when the when the uh, workers are working with heavy chemicals. Uh, to to approve. Uh, improve. Uh, to improve. Uh, the the performance of the material. So they're using a heavy chemical, and those chemicals are not. Uh, not apa. Uh, easily being take off, so they need to wear this chemical splash apron okay okay that is for the body protection next okay the next one is the safety harness uh, some of us will say hey wait a minute this is the uh, upper full body harness here in the body protection oh, in the body protection okay so no uh, the, uh, the the harness is not classified for the body protection is because the safety harness have a different uh, function from the uh, body protection as you can see body protection here are uh, been using for protect the body for physically protect the body from any uh, harmful material such as uh, welding coat uh, chemical splash uh, coveralls and again. okay but the, for the safety harness, uh, the function is to avoid uh, from uh, the falling down uh, incidents. Lah. Okay. So this is the uh, one of the example of uh, safety harness. There are different uh, some different design of the safety harness, but they are not uh, being designed differently designed for the safety purpose. They are actually different design for the comfort purpose. Uh, such as yeah, there's some extra buckle here or extra buckle there, extra buckle there, just to uh, make the user e more easily to wear it or to take it off. Uh, so, uh, for for this uh, for this presentation, I will just go to the basic one lah. Uh, the fully the fully harness uh, required the strong. The, the extra strength, uh, extra strength, the high strength rope, uh, and this bar, uh, upper, and this harness buckle. Okay, so the function here is not to prevent to to prevent the worker from fall. Uh, uh, it is actually to slow down to slow down the falling process. Okay. Uh, I would come with an uh, example because I would expect not all, not everyone could understand this. Okay, imagine there's a, uh, uh, that that there's a, an engineer, a oil and gas engineer working at the offshore. Okay, so the offshore, you know lah. Uh, there's a, uh, not very uh, apa, uh, not not very wide area. There's a limited area, and you sh uh, they they need to 
climb climb up and climb down the the ladder right okay there there's no normal stairs that they, they they need to climb up the vertical ladders there so uh let's say that there's an engineer the oil and gas engineer climbing down the uh the tower okay, to to get to the office or whatnot lah okay so do uh during his uh the when when he is climbing down wearing this uh upper safety harness okay and then suddenly the hands uh upper slipped and uh the uh the the ladder uh turns out oily ah. Uh, the oil oil and gas oily okay so the the ladder turns out uh very oily very greasy so the hand slipped and then he fell okay but he is wearing this harness safety so what this harness safety did is just to slowing down the uh the falling process so uh when when uh when the engineer hit the ground it doesn't harm any part of his body okay now imagine if this uh if this engineer still wearing the harness but the harness is not slowing down but prevent it uh prevent him from falling okay he is uh, his hand is slipped okay and then he is falling and then he is falling and then suddenly uh the 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 rope is uh, is stopped uh, and then he he is hang in, in the sky fall like that uh, so it is very dangerous the is very dangerous for his skeleton for his uh, bones can when he just been tied up like that in the sky so uh it's very very uh dangerous lah uh, for for him so it is better to falling down uh slowly uh than just hang up like that so yeah, the the inertia from uh, from fell, uh, falling and then stop on the sky will will smash his uh his body uh maybe you could understand it uh so uh, i will move to the next part okay so the for, for the next part is uh still the body body protection is the sunscreen okay so this type is different from the from this body protection and this body protection okay uh sunscreen is basically uh protecting the skin only the skin okay from or uh the from the probability destroy uh destroyer of sunlight okay now uh, uh as you could understand our ozone layer is quite thin now and some areas doesn't have uh, any ozone layer at all this allow the uv light the ultraviolet light from the sunlight to pass through the atmosphere and directly contact with the ground surface which is where we are doing our construction so uh the the uv light would uh have this direct contact to the, the to the workers all the workers that would uh be in source of the skin cancer okay so to prevent from getting the skin cancer is one of the ppe by using the skin block uh, apa the sun block or sunscreen this is one of the um, best example lah to avoid uh, uv very expensive too okay now uh, next we are going to uh, step on to the hand protection okay this is the notice the notice uh uh, usually we we saw the notice uh when it comes to the um people that work with uh apa uh, with heavy tools uh, not heavy machine heavy tools such as uh weldings uh carpentry can using using saw uh, so they are required to use the glove the, the 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 hand hand protection okay so for the hand protection here there there are different types of hand protection some of them are uh, made from uh, made for the fire uh, fireproof some of them are made from the electrical proof some of them are made uh, for the uh, for for the um, rust to uh, for for the uh, regular workers to work on the on the wood to to be uh, splinter proof uh, some of them are just designed to be a bacterial proof lah. <laughs> bacterial proof is such as the surgery uh, rub, disposal rubber hand glove okay. and then maybe some of us uh, would, would ask 
why do we need this disposal rubber glove on the construction site okay it's not uh, really used for the construction site it's usually being used in the management such as in the sewers can uh, so when it's come to the dirty part that uh, engineers need to be involved so uh, apa the the least the least protection is by rubber rubber glove the, uh, the disposal rubber glove okay and then for the electrical, you know lah when, when it comes to wiring after the construction uh, part is already done, then the the building service step in, and they then and then they need to uh to uh, apa? to apply electric uh, electrical wiring, so they need uh this electric uh, electrical proof uh hand protection glove. Fire protection is for the welders or the firefighters uh, when it's come to the fire accident, can okay. And then, uh, and then the others, okay. The regular glove is usually used for the uh, for the labors, uh, when it's come to the women they need to uh, do the nailing, uh, do the construction part lah. Uh, okay, next. Okay, this is the last one, which is the foot protection. <laughs> This is one of the uh upper uh, one of the notice. Usually we saw uh, we saw this notice uh at in uh, at the entrance of the construction site and along with the helmet and glove, and then uh usually we saw these two at the petrol pump station at the offshore whatnot. Okay. So these are the types of the food protection. They are safety boots. They are leather boots. They are even rubber, uh, rubber boots. Okay, so all these different types of uh safety boots have different function. So the safety boot here are made uh made of steels uh, and to protect our foot from uh being hit by heavy materials or heavy tools, heavy machineries and uh. Usually we seen this uh for those who work at the quarry or or in the construction site uh, uh to avoid the feet from being hit by bricks or stones uh. okay uh the latter one is to uh prevent from the fire uh from the fire catching so uh, the, these are from for those who work in the welding uh or the any flammable kind of situation and then this one is very regular is the rubber boots rubber boots uh, sometimes we do see uh, our farmers uh, using these two but sometimes in the construction we do need these uh, boots uh, to prevent from uh, from any uh, harmful on the on the ground as you can know lah uh, after after there's a accident happen on the construction we don't just clean that uh, accident part and and then uh, we continue our work no we continue our work and then uh, clean the accident part uh, apa, along when we settle the construction so let's say if there's a broken glass or uh, apa, or there's a nail uh, or there, there's some nails uh, apa, just uh, uh, just being, uh, apa the the just laying around on on the on the ground. So, uh, this is the 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 uh, one of the option to avoid from our feet uh, our feet to step on those harmful, uh, uh harmful materials. Okay, okay, okay. So that is all. Uh, for the PPE, for the conclusion, PPE is very important. Uh, when it's come to construction site, uh, it is a, a must to to aware for safety at all costs at all time. And then, I hope this is enough to explain about the PPE. And thank you so much. I am so sorry for my uh, lack of uh, device uh, ability. Okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.